Prince William hints at major interview policy change after Queen's reign. Ship sailed. Prince William hinted there could be a major break with a crucial decision made by Queen Elizabeth II at the beginning of her reign, Alistair Campbell has claimed. Prince William has suggested both he and his father will do interviews when they become sovereigns. Tony Blair's former spin doctor said. Mr. Campbell recalled asking the Duke of Cambridge whether the monarch's coming after the Queen will follow in her footsteps and avoid speaking to journalists. Appearing on Mail Plus S Palace Confidential, Mr. Campbell said, I was at a dinner once, where Prince William was the guest, and there was a Q&A. I asked the question whether, when he became king, and possibly when his dad became king, they would continue the tradition of the monarch never giving interviews. He said he thought that ship had sailed, which I thought, was quite interesting which means, that maybe they will. However, Mr. Campbell said to have already noticed a change in Prince Charles as he gets closer to the throne. Hinting at past accusations against the future king of meddling with politicians, Mr. Campbell said. Then again I think we have already noticed with Prince Charles that as he gets closer possibly to being king. I think there has been a dialing down of what can even be interpreted as political intervention. The Queen famously never gave an interview during her record-breaking reign. Former BBC News broadcaster John Humphreys revealed he once asked the monarch during a private lunch at Buckingham Palace whether she could make an exception for him. He said, I went into a big spiel and said, these are the reasons why you could, you know. And she listened to me very patiently then said, no and what's more, Mr. Humphreys, if one were ever to do such an interview, it would certainly not be with you. However, in January 2018, the Queen extraordinarily decided to sit down with the BBC's Alistair Bruce to watch and comment on archive footage from her coronation day in June 1953. She also spoke about the literal weight of wearing the imperial state crown, and gave a vivid description of the experience of being installed as ruler of realms scattered across the world.